Hi, welcome to NWC Covers Video Instructions. Today we're in a 2014 GMC Sierra. Wonderful truck. Um, I'm going to explain the, the, the front seat cover installation first and then later on we'll do the rear. And while I'm doing the rear, I'm also going to explain how it differs from a vehicle's or from a, a sedan's back seats and uh, the different kind of variations you're going to have in those. This particular seat has what we call a bib. And that refers to this piece of the backrest runs right down underneath the cushion. It's attached by two elastic bands. And when you attach our seats, you don't have to undo these because the straps that you push through the back to the front are going to be sitting behind here. And you pull this out, they're going to drop right down here. You can pass them up to the front to be attached to the front of the cushion. This allows us so you don't have to take them off. If you do want to take them off, you can quite easily reach underneath, you can follow it with your hands, you can feel the clip attached to a listing or the little bar underneath the seat, push it forward, give a little jiggle, and that's what you have right there. So as long as you just push one side over there, put them back on, easy, you can feel the listing, clip them back on, and it's, it's good to go. Back on there. Okay, headrest removal. Always start with the headrest removal. Pull up, it'll always come up a little bit, and it'll stop. On this particular seat, you have a button and you have a button. A lot of times you're going to have a button you're going to have a pinhole which can be easily compressed with one of our S-clips that we provide you with. You push it in there and uh, this one here we don't need it, we'll put it aside and push this in, push that in and usually you have to go down a little bit and then raise them up, it pops off. Okay, when doing the front seats we always start with the cushions first. So. On these particular ones, because the seat has a bib, it's going to have two straps running from the back of the backrest to the front, and it's going to have two straps running off the cushion to the from the back between here and up to the front. So you're going to have four clips on here. And before we go any further, I'm going to give you a little installation instruction on how those clips go through. The seat cover strap is going to be cut on an angle so that it, it goes through a little bit easier than a flat one. You're going to put it through the back first and then you're going to wind it through and put it through the front. Pull it through and you're good. If you want to, if you put them on, you actually want to take them off, lift the lift this tab here and that will able to pull it off. I like to do that a little bit until I get enough slack, then pull it through, pull it through that way. But always through the back, behind it, through the big one first, and then in through the small one, and then pull it nice and tight. If you find that you have um, a blob or a, a, it, it's been, we usually, we, we melt the ends of them heat so that it won't fray, but if it does, uh, you have a, a, a blob or something that makes it so it won't go through easily, you can take some scissors and give that a cut. Cut it on an angle, and what that actually does is it pinks the, uh, the material so that it, it, it's difficult for it to fray. If you want, you can take another lighter and give it a little bit of a, a, a melting if you want. Um, it, it's, it's really not that necessary if you cut it right away and install it. But make sure you put it on an angle because it's easier to install. Cushion. Each of our cushions comes with one side of it which has the little loop elastic. That goes on your door. That's your door side. So I take this, buckles to the front. The elastic's here at the door side. I know I've got the right side. And usually the inside's a lot deeper than the outside because the outsides generally have a plastic panel that uh, holds your controls, your levers, whatnot. And RC covers slide in behind that so it only has to go about an inch in behind that to fit. So first thing I do, match the seams. And I'll be tucking in the cover in behind the plastic panel on the front, pulling it down. And with this elastic loop, um, it usually serves as a to, to tell you which side the um, what, what side of the cushion you're looking at. But if you can get it down bet behind the plastic and down in underneath the cushion, you can actually attach it with one of the S hooks, and it will help to keep your 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 cushions from sliding. Just helps. It's not that necessary, but it does help. In this case, we can get it in there. It's just there's there's too much stuff in the way, so we just use it as a guide to tells which cushion is which. Straps here and you're going to have your outside perimeter bungee cords. These run along the bottom. So after you've done your straps, put those through. These are going to be pulled nice and tight. It's going to pull the entire 
uh, perimeter of your cushion nice and tight to help it suck into there. And it's gonna keep, keep it from, from sliding forward as well. What I do is I take this outside one, it goes down behind here, and I go and I access it from the back of the seat on the side. The outside one here, I pull it and get a bit of slack, and it's gonna go in between your cushion and your backrest, and then you can slide it out to the side and put it sort of down the side of the cushion and access it from right in behind. You can pull that bib up, access in behind it, and pull it nice and tight. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. First thing, let's take the straps. Make sure you keep them on what side they want, what side they have to go on. Other strap here, keep them separate so you know that that's for that side and this one's for this side. Push them down and you can actually feel them sliding back and sitting on that plastic bib in the back. Even at this time you can take the extra material you have on the side and you tuck it down into the in behind and in beside the cushion. That helps protect your cushion there. Pull as much as you can, get it nice and tucked in there. So because I can't tuck it down in behind there and reach anything, I just tuck it up underneath here. Now the, high, the side here can be tucked in underneath the plastic and it makes it look nice and holds it on there nice. Here's your side bungee, taking it and putting it right back here so I can reach up underneath and grab it from the side from the back. So here's that bungee cord. I've reached in behind here, felt in between the cushion, and pulled out the put out the bungee cord from this side. Again, if you want, you can undo these without too much trouble, just by pulling the clip on, taking the bib up. Then I reach in, I put a clip on that, hold it right there, and put it right here. Then I grab the other one from the front of the seat. This one's a nice easy one to get because you just pull it, pull it nice and sly, nice and tight, and I take this one here, and for right now, I just attach them right here. Because my seat cover is going to come over top of that, go over top of it, and it's going to hide this. But this just pulls it nice and tight, gives us, it, 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 it sucks in the seat cover and makes it look nice. Now here, when I pulled these things out to take out the, to take out the, the bungee cord, my straps just fell straight out, nice and easy. And I've got, if I feel in here, just make sure there's no wires in the way. They're going to be in the, the way there aren't. Sometimes there's, there's, a, there's a seat, uh, a, the, the wire to your side impact airbag. It's usually on the side. It's not gonna, Even if you get in there, it's not going to be a problem. So I take these and I push them over to the side. And if you find that there's not a lot of room, a lot of the seats have power instruction, or power motors underneath there. It's, it's actually, you, you still got lots of room, and a lot of the seats have, them, so have mechanisms that you can push this on the side controllers, your whole seat's going to come up and it's going to give you more room. You can also find more room by sliding the seat back and forth if you find that it's too tight. This one's just fine. Okay, so I brought the straps up to the front of the seat. Here I've got my two, my two buckles. You can choose whichever buckles, so you just keep in mind in which ones you attached which to so you know which ones you're pulling later on. I'm going to put them on the outside, so I'll remember that my cushion straps are on the outside. So I pull the strap through there, push it through here, because it's pointed, it's quite easy to do. Then I take the extra slack up. Now if you do have uh, handles up here that, that move your back and your seats back and forth, make sure your straps don't go over around those, because what's going to happen is you're going to pull it tight, it's going to pull that bar up, and your seat's just going to go back and forth when you're driving. Don't do that. Always make sure your strap goes underneath those, those bars. These ones doesn't have it, so it doesn't really matter. So, I have my strap. I give it just slight. Don't, don't pull super hard because you, you can rip it. It, it is a, a plastic strap. They're very, very strong, but you pull hard enough, you can rip it. So I'd like to push the seat back here to get to make it tight, and then pull there, tight. And you can feel the seat; you can actually see it tightening up. And you're gonna see a nice straight line along here. Get your other one and do the same thing. So I put straps the other, attach the other strap, pull them nice and tight, tuck, and pull them night tight. Don't do super tight, but just enough so you can feel it when it's nice and snug. There we go, it levels the seat out, makes everything nice and tight. Now we can put on our backrest. Get your backrest. Make sure the side impact airbag tag is going, uh, going to go on the outside airbag side of your seat. Most seats nowadays have side impact airbags, so you have to be really careful of that. 
This side, the airbag tag goes over the airbag tag. Nice and simple. Now, straps, these things go to the front. Pull your cover over. And as you're pulling it over, you want to make sure that your sides are lined up right now because you don't want to have to do a lot of shifting once the seat cover's on. Just make sure your sides are, are lined up because it's pretty easy to do. Bolsters, they're getting bigger and bigger every year. Seats have, they're more sporty, so they've, these are what we call the bolsters. They just get bigger and in order for us to, to accommodate these, you're going to have to a lot of times scrunch in your bolster just because it is, it's foam and it's really difficult to get the seat to, to fit when it tapers in the bottom. So you're going to have to do a bit of scrunching and this one's not too bad. But the more sporty seats, it gets a bit difficult. So I look up, make sure I pull it down, shifting, pulling the backrest, back of the backrest, making sure my headrest holes are lined up with the holes that are on there. Um, again, sometimes you're not going to have uh, headrest holes punched in there. That's when the seat is finicky. And I'll explain how to do that on the rear seats, how to make your own headrest holes. It's easy, it makes for a professional install. That's how professionals do it when they're selling leather kits. They never put in the headrest holes, they always do them after. So I pull this, take your two straps, and I start to tuck them in here. I'm going to go to the front of the seat. Okay, I've got the straps here, everything lined up. I'm going to take this strap here, push it down until I can feel it hit the back of the bib. And you can actually, again, you can feel you can feel it dropping back there. Make sure the whole thing's back there so you can find it easily. Same thing with the strap. Keep them on the right side so they're nice and easy to identify when you're back there. Pull that in nice and tight. And this one here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go quickly to the back of the truck. Pull out the bib. And just like that, the straps are out back here. I'm going to push them to the front. Push them to the front. Make sure I keep them easily identifiable on each side so I know which one I'm looking at. Then right back here, reach underneath and I have the strap. Again, if you've got the, the bar at the front that moves your seat back and forward, go underneath that bar. Now I've left the two inside buckles vacant so I can go underneath here and just quickly put them on. Okay. There's one. Now I remember, this is where you gotta remember which one you're doing the inside buckles. Now as I'm pulling the buckle, you can look back here on the backrest and see what I'm doing. As I'm pulling tight, I'm gonna push the seat cover into the concavity of the seat. When you've got big bolstered seats like this, it really helps so you don't have to pull too hard to get these things on there. You push it down and just tighten up the buckle. Push down, tighten up the buckle. This is doing most of the work. You're just bringing up the slack with your buckle. And it'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, backrest on, cushions on, the straps from the backrest are attached to the front of the cushion, the straps from the back of the cushion are attached to the front of the cushion. Everything is tightened up, I got my bungee cord tightened up, Tight sides all lined up, I got my headrest holes lined up, the airbag tag is on the airbag side, and everything looks nice and smooth. We're good to go. Let's do the back seat. <laughs> 